it's your mom's favorite air host and I'm in Sydney again. I know I said I'd start recording like every day but I had a few issues with the camera which I did sort out two days or so after my last video. I ended up getting sick. I was supposed to fly to Perth and record there but I missed that trip completely. I was here again in Sydney the other day but I was basically just shattered. I was so exhausted that I came to the room and passed out for most of the layover so didn't get anything recorded then. After that I was supposed to take a trip down to Christchurch. I did get there but weather wasn't permitting. I couldn't drive up to the mountains. Most of the roads were closed off in the mountains due to the snow. I would have loved to do that. Showed all the scenic views, the beautiful views that they have there. Um, well, at least I'm back in Sydney again so I can do a bit of recording here. I am in a new hotel now. It's much better than the last one position wise. The room is small but it's more than adequate. I'll show you the room. It shouldn't take that long because like I said it's small. And then I'll tell you a bit more about what I'm going to do and what I'm going to show you. Check it out. said it wouldn't take long to show it it's not the biggest room it's more than adequate though don't get me wrong I'm just a bit spoiled from this job I did expect more when you walk into this lobby there's these huge chandeliers and you just expect this elegant five-star luxurious uh, hotel and then you get to the room and it's just adequate um, yeah I guess like I say I'm a bit spoiled from this job but there's nothing wrong with it I am in Sydney I am in a much better position with this hotel, so I'm very close to the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Like I said on my last video, I will be going to the Sydney Opera Bridge and um, the Sydney Opera House. I don't know if I'll have time to go to Bondi Beach tomorrow, it is 10pm already here. So yeah, I'm going to head out now and let's go to the Opera House. <laughs> So that's the reception I was talking about, um, it's very beautiful, the video probably doesn't do it justice, so soon I'll be in the opera house. And I've reached it, I'm eventually here, the world famous Sydney Opera House is behind me. Let's go for a walk around it and I'll show you a bit more. It's definitely beautiful, it definitely makes me want to be an opera singer, but don't have that skill. So straight ahead of me is another iconic site, that is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's not very nice during the, the night, usually it's lit up, it's not lit up tonight very nicely. During the day it's much better, but yeah, that's, that's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So, all those white specks above me are seagulls and I feel like lately birds are not my best friends and that they are out to get me. They are making weird noises. I think they are about to attack me so I'm going to get out of here. Peace. So straight ahead is the ferry boats. These things come in all the time and they move across this water like very fast. So you can probably hear it's quite windy. 
That is all I have to show for the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's friggin' cold out here, so I'm gonna head back home. So, just got back to my hotel room after a night out. I'm just gonna do a little recap. Um, so yeah, I went to the Sydney Opera House, as you saw. I'll be honest, at that time of the night, there's not that many people, and the people that are there are dodgy. I thought I was probably gonna get robbed. Funny enough, I didn't, which was a good thing. Um, the seagulls, I really thought they were going to attack me and they were just making crazy sounds and yeah, at that time of the night they're not supposed to be awake, you'd think they'd be sleeping. Uh, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, ah, it, the video did it justice, it wasn't the greatest, it wasn't lit up like it normally is, it's usually much better than that. Um, I got food. Hungry Jacks! Yeah, so I'll probably just go shower now, try get up early and go to Bondi Beach, but I think with the timing and the time I have left, I won't have enough to get there, but I'll try my best. If not, I'll let you know, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Good night. Good morning, so it's like 5.30 in the morning, um, just woke up, probably going to take a shower, see if breakfast is open, and... Then from there, head to Bondi Beach and show you guys a bit of that. Till then, peace. So, this is the world famous Bondi Beach where people from all over the world come to surf and just have a great time. It's beautiful in the summer. Not right now though. Check out this epic swimming pool. Man, I would love to swim in this. You have the waves crashing in it all the time. Ah, it's just epic. From the edge, the view must be amazing. So this is the beautiful trail along the, the coast up to the, the viewing point for, for Bondi Beach. Beautiful. This is the viewing point. It's an amazing view from here. Like, I don't think this camera is doing it justice, but it's beautiful. And just over there you have some random canoe. I don't know if you can see him in the video. Just awesome. Hello, so I'm eventually back in Dubai after what seemed to be a never-ending flight. Those 14 hours just seem to drag by. I'm, I'm grateful to be back. That crew, that was the worst crew I've ever had since I joined the airline industry, so I'm just happy that I'm back home. My company decided to give me an early birthday gift, so my roster for next month consists of a reserve month, which is basically unexpected. You, you get any flight. You could be flying to America, you could be flying to Australia. You don't know what to expect until the day or so before the, the actual flight, so That'll keep me on my toes for next month. Um, yeah, the other thing is, I know my audio for some of the clips in my, my video weren't the greatest. There was tons of wind um, and you can hear it. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully in the next videos I won't have any of those issues. Until next time, I'll see you. Peace.